Jetster who suggests initiated disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain.
say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Refra oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. 
We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those Marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. I've got some time. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year.
Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constab. The office is writing up promotion. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three mar- Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the Board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. That's the way it goes, I suppose. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauder's got him. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of it.
The grease monkey arc. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. <laughs> 